some things have been left forgotten. Those manga, they informed the character. I mean, it's all right there. Also, you have Jim's amazing notes. They were so in-depth uh, about, you know, what her body is made out of. She contains technology that have been lost for 300 years. And then, of course, Robert, he's the mastic, he's the anchor, he is the one who is uh, setting the scene. And that made it really comfortable for me to play and to find the character. Well, look at you. What Rosa gave us was the depth of complexity that the Alita character has. Alita comes into this world as a naive young girl but she quickly changes. Does it bother you that I'm not completely human? Someone who is aware and astute, someone who becomes a warrior. Rosa was able to give us all those complexities. In her audition with Robert, Robert says something happened to him that never happened to him in an audition before. Rosa made him cry. I'll have to face them head on. Rosa was great. She never really thought about it. She just became Alita. And when she went from the doll body to Berserker, you saw the change in her performance. This body, I feel a connection to it. I can't explain. So early on in the film, she is quite wide-eyed and innocent as she's trying to figure out where the heck she is in this world. As she remembers more about herself and discovers more about herself, by the end of the film, she's a warrior. She's found who she is, and she's a completely evolved character. The awesome thing about Rosa, she brings this beautiful arc to the character. I changed my posture, I pitched up my voice. She's a 14-year-old girl transitioning into an 18-year-old woman. It's little bits and pieces here and there that make up a, a performance, and then you let it all fall away, and then you're in the moment. 